this video I'm going to show you how to create a comment system so users can um, visit your website, enter their name and a little comment to be posted to like, the site message board so everyone can view it. Um, so first of all we're going to go to the database and I've created a comments database with the name of the database is comments, the table is comments um, and I've created an ID column which is an integer, it's auto increment and a primary key. Um, name and comment are both varchar with a hundred character limit. Um, so to get down to the coding, um, on index.php, um, by the way I've created an index.php and a post underscore comment.php. Um, so in the index page we're going to create um, a little header here so in h1 um, comment okay now underneath here we're going to create PHP code but just for now we're going to break back into HTML to create the form which I've already typed there by accident oops don't know what I'm doing The form action is going to go to post comment.php and the method is going to be post. Okay, um, input type is going to be um, text. Once to get sorted out, so input type is text. The name is going to be name and the value is going to be your name you'll see why I have entered your name as a value there in a second so now for the message it's going to be a text area the text area name of this is going to be um, comment um, I'm going to set rows and columns on this one so calls is equal to let's say 50 and rows is equal to 2 forward slash text area and inside text area we're just going to put um, and a comment and let's just break off there and have an input type as submit and the value is going to be comment so let's save that out and see what we've got oops that was one I tried earlier there we go so comment your name and enter a comment okay so now that we've got the form the visual side set up and um, we can start doing the coding so in post underscore comment dot php just create some php tags here um, and in here we're going to do several things. Um, first off, being is to connect to the database. So, MySQL underscore connect connect um, one two seven dot not, not one local host um, root being the username and they haven't got a password. You could put an R die onto that, but seeing as I know everything's going to be working, then um, it's all it'll be fine just leaving it like that for this tutorial so now we're going to get what the user entered so dot underscore post name and we can copy this um, down for the comment just like that okay now we're going to create a variable called comment underscore length and that is going to calculate how long the actual comment is so we can add some um, limits to this so the comment length is str len which is string length and we want to know the string length of comment so now we could basically say if if comment oops, if comment underscore length is bigger than 100 we're going to redirect the user back to 
the index page and we need a location on the front of that um, but this time I'm going to put a question mark with an error equals one else so if the comment length is under 100 we're going to insert what the user entered into the database so mysql underscore query it's going to be insert into comments values we have three so we want the first one is the ID so we can leave that out as it's our own comment second one is name and the third is comment once we've inserted into the database we can then redirect the user back to index.php just like that so that's post underscore comment set up um, now if we test this out so I'm going to put in here ash and um, comment then click comment we get oops that's because if I just go to the database and browse um, you can see how it's been inserted into the database because we've not actually um, echoed it out to the user then the user won't see anything so first of all we need to copy this mysql underscore connect and place it in here that's why we needed the php um, you could have used um, dbc.php is what I use to connect to the database for large f systems but seeing as this is only a two page system but if you are going to use this on a website then preferably instead of copying pasting that into every page you can just put it into a dbc and then just um, require um, dbc.php or whatever you've called it some people call it connect.php etc but um, just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to leave it out just for now um, so first of all we're going to find the comments and that is going to be mysql underscore query and that's going to be select all from comments while loop here um, so row is equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore assert which is associative array find comments and then we're just going to um, the name or we should put comment underscore name the name of the person that's commented is going to be row name and we can just copy and paste this down for the actual comment just like that and now we can echo the comment out to the users so comment underscore name the name of the person that commented on it and a comment and then we're just going to break that off there um, actually we'll do a paragraph break so it's separated um, okay so we've saved that out refresh we get that there now to deal with the error message we created here um, we can basically just set ourselves another if statement to say if um, is set dollar underscore get error so if there is an error we're just going to put echo um, put power up on that just to separate things off again 100 character limit okay so let's try it again now if I just copy and paste this um, quite a few times to get more than 100 comment we get 100 character limit and nothing gets inserted into the database so there we go and if I just create another one here um, another comment there we go and that's basically just how to create a very simple comment system so thanks for watching and I will see you next time